Welcome to this uh, EC TV interview. I am uh, Karina Blomström Lundqvist. I'm professor in cardiology from Uppsala, and I will discuss with Hein Heidbuchel, professor in cardiology also from Belgium, about uh, your new trial, ECHO um, uh, trial, um, investigating whether home monitoring pays off in ICD patients. Could you briefly mention the most important message from that trial, Hein? Yeah, I think the most important message is that we confirm that remote monitoring may save physician time um, because you can save on uh, in-office visits. But of course, you need some extra help from nurses and technicians to look at the remote information over the Internet. And we also show that that requires a little bit more phone calls to the uh, patients and sometimes internal discussions. And our trial shows that, in fact, if you add up all the time investment from physicians and nurses um, and you calculate what is the cost from the perspective of the physician and the hospital, that the cost is similar. Mm. But was there any difference if you compared it with the uh, ordinary office visits yeah, with regard to the costs? Definitely there were less in-office visits and that saved physician time. But as I mentioned, the time needed for the remote evaluation and some extra work by nurses and technicians compensated that. Now, notwithstanding that finding, what we found, and that is in uh, a corollary also with other trials, is that from the payer perspective, the, the healthcare insurer, that the total costs did not increase and rather tended to decrease. Uh, related to a shortening of the hospitalization duration. And this was f also seen in other trials where that, that became significant. Our trial was not powered to, to see that. Yes. But the overall picture then is that healthcare payers uh, have room to provide reimbursement to hospital and physicians to mm. carry out the remote monitoring. If we look uh, more in depth at the trial, looking at the patient selection, it seems as if the patients included were a bit more healthy than the general ICD population. That means that they would probably have fewer arrhythmias and sort of not burden the, the uh, uh, outpatient clinic and not burden the home monitoring system. Could you comment on that? Yes, sure. You're fully right. We included only VVI and DDD ICD patients. Uh, a majority of those were also prophylactic implants. Um, but acknowledging what you just mentioned, um, we have a third arm, which is a CRT arm, which will, of course, uh, enroll and is still enrolling patients with lower ejection fractions. And it's uh, interesting for us to see how the cost comparison fares there. Mm. So the take-home message to the readers would be? The take-home message is that we have now data that allow us to discuss proper reimbursement that can benefit all the players in the field, which is the hospitals and the physicians at one part, the industry maybe, because industry is now providing the technology for free, and the payers, the insurers, that will not have extra costs, but at the end may provide patients with better and more modern care. So in your clinic, how many patients, what percentage of patients are in this home monitoring with regard to the bladder pacing, ICD and the CRT population? Yeah, we have a few hundred patients mm. now in remote monitoring and um, that definitely is something we could not take uh, with us in the EURO-ECHO trial. The trial started many years mm. ago and probably in modern day medicine, home monitoring is already mm. more efficient. Mm. But of course, that is not yeah. what the trial showed. Thank you very much.